I'm Lou Caruso from Surfcasters Journal and today I thought I'd show you how to upgrade your Hunter Rod Vault, the front clips. In the past, I know I've always had an issue. I'm always transporting uh, new customers' rods uh, on the roof of my truck, meeting up with people, bringing them out to Montauk, picking up blanks, and I'm always leery of the clips. Great clips in their design, but what happens over time is the springs inside loosen up. They no longer close tight. Here's a perfect example. You can see this one's no longer tight. And they get very rough inside. So I usually wind up every year putting new shrink wrap. Last year, we had a couple of days um, where we were on the beach and the wind was honking pretty good. And what was happening is it was blowing sand and salt in these. And when I put the rods up there, when I got home, I noticed that there was some scuffing and some chafing. So, the guys that make the Hunter Rod Vaults came up with an idea uh, a couple of years back, a new type of clip. I had bought a new rod, set of rod vaults and got the new clips on it and loved it. So what I did is I went on a search. I tried to find these clips. I've been looking for, I guess, six, maybe eight months now, trying to find these clips. And every now and again, I go back to it, try and do a, a search. I knew it had to be some kind of tool clip, but wasn't sure where. And then one day I was on Amazon recently, and I came across them. Something very similar. I'm not sure if it's ex exactly the same, but it sure does look like it. It's called the Mini Quick fi Fist. All right, you can get them right on Amazon. I bought the Minis because... The diameter, when they're closed up, is small enough for a rod tip. So, in looking at these, you'll notice, we're doing this the first time now, so your guess is as good as mine how this is going to come out. I'm only joking, no doubt. If you look at these, you'll notice that there's four holes to hold it. Now, on the old rod vaults, the pins on it, the clips, there's two. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to take these and we're going to drill them. And I picked up some number eight by three quarter self-tapping screws. Now you can get these self-tapping screws either with a hex head so that you can use a ratchet. I have a quarter inch drive here and it'll be much easier to use it. Or you can actually use Phillips head screws if you don't have a ratchet set small enough. You can get the Phillips head. It'll just be a little tougher. You have to make sure you're perpendicular with the screw at all times so that you don't strip them. Okay, so the first one we're going to remove. It's held on with a Phillips head screw. So we're going to remove both the screws. Now, if you don't want to get those self-tapping screws, you can actually get sheet metal screws because it's aluminum. It'll just be a little bit tougher to actually start them and get them going. Okay, so now, as you can see, there's two small holes there. Now, technically, if I wanted to, I could probably line up two of these and only have to drill two, but what would happen is I'd no longer be centered on the, uh, on the plate. So I'm just going to start from scratch and drill all four of them out. What I first thought of doing was maybe taking automotive two-sided stick'em tape and putting it on here and then putting it on the rod vault and just mounting them that way. But I'm not too sure if that's going to hold. And also what happens is it interferes down the road with where the screws go for the mounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually can eyeball this. I'm going to center it as best as I can. And I'm going to take my drill. I have an eighth inch drill bit in here. And I'm actually going to start force I'm just going to start them so that I have the marks. And 
Now you could probably put two-sided tape on to hold this in place if you're a little nervous about it moving while you're drilling. Okay, so now I have my four little marks. I'm just going to drill them through. Okay. So now we're just going to take this and line it up. I'm going to take one of our self-tapping screws. Less than five minutes. All right, we took off the old, installed the new. Now what you could probably do is drill two holes first, put your screws in, make sure that it's squared up and, and even, and then drill the other two holes. You'll have a, you'll have a solid base to drill the other two. Um, one thing I want to show you real quick, because I got caught in this the first time, when I first started using these, I would just put it down a little tiny bit on it, and it was a big space. They used to bounce around. What I found out later on is that you can take these and actually double them over, all the way down so that they're closed. Now, when you hook up to the very bottom part of the clip, you have a nice tight fit in there. Your rods aren't going to bounce around. They're not going to get marked up. So there you have it. All right, a quick easy fix for your rod vaults.